Uh, um, your Majesty. <laughs> uh, Yana. Okay, uh, you don't have to call me that, but uh, <laughs> that's very kind of you. Um, I would like to give the gentleman back there, uh, Mr. Chang, power over all of the attorneys, please. <laughs> I don't think power of all the attorneys a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I could translate if you would like. Can you translate that, Mr. Chang? I uh, should like use power attorney and she would like me to represent her. That. Now, you do understand that if you give Mr. Chang power of attorney over you, you give him power over all your decisions in your life, all your bank accounts, all your medical anything in your interest he has power over and you wouldn't be able to take that back unless you went before the Perfect. courts <laughs> wait how long does it last for until you're dead uh, twist your heart oh that's fine <laughs> oh. uh, she should be having a few more hours anyways i want your order judge we're gonna win this case no problem Yes. But yes. like the tenth yes. time, let's try this. Let's see the opening statement from the plaintiffs. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, opposing counsel, ladies and gentlemen of the gallery, today we will prove without a doubt that defendant Edna Moose fully intended to blow up a police cruiser and disobey law enforcement commands on June 13, 2019. I'm confident that after hearing Chat, all the, the facts, opening the court to be? rule in the favor of the state. Thank you, Your Honor. That was a really great opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Keys. Quite the opening statement. You're Do welcome. We object yet, or? That's the first opening statement I've had in a bench trial in a while that was actually an opening statement. Like I said, I wasn't the one that actually wrote it. That was uh, Officer Reinhardt that wrote it up. <sighs> All right, Mr. Chang, let's hear your opening statement. You hear that? I, I hear it. You hear that? This desk I do. represents the foundation of this city. A city of peace and justice and gods. That's been the beautiful Miss Edna Moose. The foundation that keeps this city together. True justice. A true hero. Framed by the jealousy of these devil worshipping cops. And disgracing her name. Out of pure animosity. And today I will prove that not only is she a victim to these savages, but she also deserves to be chief of police. Thank you, Bowie Mats. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chang. Oh, well done. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Clance, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, but nothing but the truth, happy ghost stalker? Yes, sir, uh, you're on. Tell me what happened. Alright, um, well, we were initiating a traffic stop on uh, Vespucci. Uh, we pulled over our suspect, Miss Edna Moose. Who's we? Um, uh, it'd be and myself her. and Officer Reinhardt. Okay, and, uh, you gotta be very descriptive on that stuff. Edna yes. We pulled over Miss Edna Moose. Um, uh, she, she wouldn't listen at first. We told her to pull over, so she pulled over, drove into the uh, construction line. Uh, once she was in the lot, um, Miss Reinhardt explained to her, uh, you know, who she was, gave her ID, asked for uh, her identification, and <laughs> informed her uh, there was a traffic stop, and uh, that she would be uh, receiving a ticket. Uh, upon writing He's the lying. ticket for uh, Miss Edna, um, Miss Edna refused to take the ticket, at which she got in her vehicle. She was ordered to get out of the vehicle. She ignored officer commands. She backed up, I believe she... She, uh, she struck uh, objection, Your Honor. Michael Diaz's car. What's uh, the objection? Here, say. He said, I believe. Mm -hmm. He did say, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Oh, I can I I just say that, yes. he, he did, he did say it. he believed, but he's also doing an opening statement, which you can't object. Oh, yeah. oh, he's oh, not I'm doing sorry, I thought you're right. already did the opening statement. Yeah, it's a testimony. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I'm going to sustain that. Reword it. Oh, all right. Oh, I can't. Uh, she reversed. Uh, she struck Officer Deputy Diaz's vehicle, and then began driving off from us. We radioed that it was a 1080, which is a police pursuit, 
Um, we have myself and Reinhardt were in the following car, and Diaz was in the secondary unit behind us. Uh, we all had our lights and sirens on. She refused to yield or pull over till we got to the courthouse. Objection, uh, speculation. They were escorting me to the. <laughs> My crime was being escorted. I don't know how that's speculation, Mr. Chang. Exactly. That's what I've been trying to explain this whole time. All right, overruled. Continue, Mr. <laughs> Clarence. Okay. Uh, once well at done. the courthouse, she <laughs> exited her vehicle, at which uh, we had her at taser point. Myself and Officer Reinhardt had her tasers pointed at her. We told her that she needed to comply with officers, put her hands up. She started uh, speaking of, oh, thank you for escorting me. And we explained to her that wasn't the case. We explained to her that she was going to be arrested for uh, disobeying a peace officer and evading from us. And she got in her vehicle, refused to take the ticket, and drove off. At which uh, she ignored our orders to put her hands up. She began running away from Officer Reinhardt, at which I discharged my taser, uh, hitting the suspect, uh, Miss Moose here. And uh, she was placed in handcuffs, Mirandized. Uh, we had EMS come on scene to remove the prongs and see to her medically. And then we brought her to uh, Mission Row PD, continued questioning her, and uh, here we are today. I'm going to question all this stuff, chat. Miss Moose, how old are you? Wow. Uh, no madness, huh? To know that this man's a liar. <laughs> Miss Moose, I asked you a question. How old are you? I'm in my 80s. I asked you for your specific age. Honey, at my age, you can't quite remember how old you Ms. are. Miss Moose, right? how old <laughs> are you? He did not swear to you, uh -huh. and you can tell him 19. Your Honor, my client uh, is uh, 19 years old. Miss Moose, uh, how Ms. old are you? <laughs> no, no, that's... Is that what I'm supposed to say? You can say whatever you want. Okay, I'm... I'm a little confused about the question. <laughs> I, I want to know how old be, you are, Miss Moose. I'm going to be uh, are you gonna, very are you gonna soon. Agree that, are you going to be agreeing that you're 19? No. Okay. Uh, you have to add about, I don't know, 60 years to that. Alright, so you're around 80? Uh, that's what I said. They tased okay. an 80-year-old woman. I've had a heart replacement, mm -hmm. you know. Mr. Clance? Do you have any problem uh, yes, physically, uh, physically maintaining an 80 year old lady? <laughs> uh, no, I do not, Your Honor. So why tase him? <laughs> uh, during past encounters with her, I know her to be, uh, I guess, um, <laughs> unpredictable. She was not listening to commands that were very clear to her. And uh, we had made it clear that she would be tased if she didn't comply, and uh, I acted as if, or as if I would on any suspect. Objection, your honor! This fuck awake. What's the objection, Mr. Chang? What's the speculation on that? This guy is assuming that my client here is a bad person, when in reality she's a sweetheart, a woman of justice and kindness, a woman of God. Here's the thing, Mr. Chang. He can't <laughs> speculate things to me. That's what I've been saying. Someone, but, but he can speculate exactly. why he did his actions. Exactly. Because the speculation exactly. happened during his duty, not in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what I was saying. I'm wild on the same page. Overruled. Thank you. All right. Um. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, Mr. Ali, are you going to have your client? Give her own statement of what happened, or do you wish to speak for her, or have Mr. Chang speak for her? Ah, uh, we Mr. were well acquainted. Not mine. To give a story from my, her my, heart. My, my question is: Is is she willing to use her Fifth Amendment right to stay silent, or is she willing to talk? <laughs> you think we're cowards, huh? You think we're gonna hide behind the kiss of engines? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Listen here, sweetheart. You oh, tell I the know. truth. Well, you tell like... from your heart. I'll, I'll talk about everything. I don't need any okay, of my so rights except for the right to a trial. Mr. Chunk, do you need my, uh, just, uh, my advice? What's your advice? 
If you put the woman out there for questioning, the, the judge will have the right to ask her any question he wants to ask her after he swears her in. That's okay, she's completely innocent. No, it's your decision whether you want to do it or not. Okay, send the woman, yalla. Send the woman if you want. <laughs> All right. It's now. All right. Go ahead. Miss Mood? No, it isn't. Go uh -huh. ahead, Miss Ed. It isn't. Go ahead. It's the use okay. to tell the <laughs> truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you go stalker. Uh, who wrote on God's green flare earth is who's a what, sir? <laughs> uh, we have we have many deities in a, in our world, and uh, that's just one of them. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I mean, God, uh, I trust the voice, the great voice in the sky that echoes through the heavens. All right, Miss Edna, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and never the truth? So help you, the great voice in the sky above the heavens. Yes. Okay. All right, tell your story. All righty. Miss Edna, tell me what happened. Oh, well, today was like any other day. When I woke up, I woke up on the left side of the bed. Well, I guess normally I wake up on the right side of the bed. So it wasn't exactly a normal day, but it, it started off differently than most days. But in every other aspect, it was the same as every other day. I got my my shoes on and my my pants and everything. I got going there. Uh, I didn't get a chance to have any breakfast or lunch. And I went right out there to help mm -hmm. fight crime in this city. Oh, and I did see a man before. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he was doing drugs right out in my hotel room. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> so here I was minding my own business and i see that there's a robbery happening uh so i go over there right i go over there and uh, i capture i apprehend a criminal and uh, uh miss edna why are you contradicting yourself what so we need why a definition of contradiction looking at it this way mr chang she just said she was sitting there minding her own business Mm -hmm. Then she saw a robbery and decided to go over there. That's not minding your well, own business. See, uh, you're understanding the definition of that phrase is very incorrect. We see she was minding a business until she saw the chance to provide justice and do assist in arresting right. a filthy criminal. So that would mean the fact that she was minding her own business beforehand would be irrelevant. Well, that's that's your oh, no, opinion. This is all very relevant. This is to all very well when it adds together, you dads. And keep in mind, she did not eat breakfast. She was in a weak state right. doing all of this. You're right. It is my opinion, Mr. Chang. And is it my opinion the one that decides? Uh, what? God's opinion? You talking is about God's right. question? I don't know. <laughs> Continue. Continue uh. with the story. Me? <laughs> yes. That's correct. Oh, oh, okay. Th thank you, Majesty. So when I was uh, over there, um, you know, I got the call uh, on my on my pager there, and I went over, and I saw that the police, you know, as usual, were not not taking care of the situation, and the criminals walked right out of the bank and drove off. So I pursued them. <laughs> in my own car, because the police, <laughs> whatever. He's going to jail. I, I ran over there in my car. Uh, objection, and, uh, your honor. Uh, what's the objection? She's lying, that's not what happened. This is a fucking 80-year-old woman you're talking to like that. Lying's not an objection, alright, and if she's committing perjury, and you can prove that, uh, then she can be arrested for perjury, but objection, you're lying, is not an objection. Okay, your all right, well, one way or another, I got over, I, I pursued the uh, fleeing criminals, and uh, one of them <laughs> was trying to steal a police car. So, as a citizen who cares about justice, I drew my firearm, which I legally obtained, and I have a gun license for, and proceeded to make a citizen's arrest. And then, this officer over here ran up to me and tased me. Afterwards, the criminal got away. I believe that every part of the rest of this story they keep telling you is all because they're mad they didn't catch the criminals and they know it's their fault. Oh my 
It was his own car they were stealing, I bet. Uh, objection, Your Honor. I'm trying to think. What's the objection? Uh, relevance to the case at hand. Your Honor, please. Then what's just... the relevance? <laughs> Are you told me to tell him the story of what happened to me today? Uh, I meant the incident. I expect that to be pretty obvious. Uh, which incident are we talking about? You know what? I'm going to sustain it. You're Your Honor, my client here is a woman of uh, many different scenarios, including justice. you got to specify what you're talking about in the future. I'm sure, her catalog of, <laughs> I'm sure her catalog of stories in her lifetime can make a bunch of chapters in the Very book. Very Hawaiian. All right, go ahead. I'm going to sustain it. Proceed. Uh, so you want to hear all of the chapters of my book? Uh, I believe that's what he said, ma'am. Where do you want me to start? <laughs> I want you to finish your story. That's what I want. Oh. Um, yeah, I guess you could start with see. your cookie story. Someone could walk. I don't even remember why I'm here anymore, if I'm completely honest. I thought <laughs> we were putting them in jail for wrongful imprisonment. I mean, exactly. they took me to the jail place. You and wanna... they held me like a monster, Judge. There you go. They held me... And they entrapped me in there. I couldn't go to the bathroom. They, they force-fed me. They force-fed me lime jello. If that stuff happens, it needs to be part of your story. So if it is, continue with your story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you, if it not, did happen. We'll That's on. why I'm telling. So tell me the story. She is oh, telling uh... you the story. Should I use a different voice or something when I tell you the story? I, that, I'm that you're, giving me a summary. Story. You're, you're giving me a summary <laughs> of bits and pieces of a story without giving me the details of a story. Oh, so he wants the whole oh. details of how you had explosive diarrhea and okay. all the little wings you saw in it. Okay, so earlier, um, a little while after the criminal got away... Jesus Christ. I'm so he was... fucking high right now. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Actually... I ran into this guy over here. I believe oh, hey. he's some kind of drug addict. And I was trying to help I was him. In, um, get order. Help. Oh, objection. Okay. Objection. Why do you object? Um, because it's speculation. Overruled. Overruled, I agree. Oh, man. <laughs> so I was trying to help him Continue get your some story? You know, medication to not. You know, maybe he would be able to, uh, he said he needed his medications. And there was a storm coming in, rolling through the heavens. I believe it was God foreshadowing mm -hmm. what was going to take place later. And um, I was going um, from the, uh, the the bank across from the apartments there. And uh, they all these officers almost hit me in my vehicle. And they, they, uh, they, I guess they were going to pull me over. I couldn't hear anything. Uh, and when I finally saw them and I pulled over and the storm was in the way, they started to write me a ticket saying that I was, I don't know. I think they made something up. Um, let's see. At that point, I told them that I did not want to accept my ticket and I wanted to fight it in court and I drove off. Uh, let's see. Oh, then Batman... I saw Batman on the highway, and I was going to try to help him, but the police told me I had to leave. The Batman saved my life. By the way, he's not actually Batman. He's just, I don't know his name. Uh, so I kind of owed it as a favor to him, since they were wrongfully, you know, probably wrongfully imprisoning him and all that. I wanted to try to get him out of, out of uh, you know, their custody, or at least try to convince him to let him go. But they already had him in Mission Row. At that point, lost. Why aren't they objecting this? Not sure what this? to do. I heard a voice, a divine voice from with... God, who told me not to be a coward, <laughs> and that I needed to light to a car on fire. And so I responded, just what as any good, she... you know, servant would do. Um, after I heard the explosion. Uh, I never did see anything transpire after that. I thought something would have happened. 
Um, and then later I got arrested wrongfully, and you heard the whole thing about them force feeding me jello, yada, yada, yada. Oh, you said one you were last thing. Fed jello? That's quite wild. Yeah. Did you want um, the jello? The oh, I love lime jello. So how's it <laughs> force? Well, I mean, they, they put it right up to my mouth, and I, I practically choked on it. Did you want it? It, it was like jello boarding. Did you want it? My client was jello boarded, Your Honor. I was in, I was in, I was in prison wrongfully, Your Honor. They were, they were giving me a traffic ticket, and they said that I could go see a judge right after this. And when I refused to sign, I got in my car, and I came right over here to see you. And I heard their sirens, and so I only went faster. Assuming that they were escorting me right here so you could serve justice. Mm -hmm. At which point they chased me for trying to walk into the courtroom. <laughs> that was the second time they chased me this day. Mm -hmm. I've done nothing to try to Mr. Help Clarence, the city. where was uh What can we Ms. call Luke witnesses detained at? Or question these people. Uh she was detained on the courtroom steps, Your Honor. Where was she taken after then? Uh, to Mission Row PD. Was she ever taken to Bolenbrook at any time? Uh, no, she requested a, a bench trial after uh, she spoke with so us. Armored Guppy, they have the seven gifted. Man, appreciate that they, had me, they had me cooped up and entrapped inside a small little room. That's I quick. couldn't go to the bathroom despite asking. And that's where they jello boarded me. Uh huh. Did you want the jello? Oh yes, I asked for the jello specifically. Right. <laughs> you could tell let me just add, you could tell that they've clearly never fed anyone jello before. So that was probably their first jello boarding. Incompetent uh, I understand. one. I I'm I'm gonna to have to go and check uh our interrogation laws to see if jello boarding is illegal in uh -huh. in, the, in America. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we used to jello board in Guantanamo, so I'll have to get the, uh, I'll take the laws on that. Alright, alright, okay. Joanna. Overruled. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree on that. We'll have to overrule that. Alright, does that conclude your story, yeah. Miss Moose? Uh, I would just like to say, um, if it's alright, if it would please the court, I want you to know that I was sworn in is a, a junior um, rangerette at the park rangers. We cremated a coyote um, that was that was dead, and I was sworn in by the fiery flames of justice. If you Who would like, you um, I believe his name was uh, Clarkson. Is it the Dickator, Mr. Conan Cox Park Clarkson, Ranger Clarkson? Swore you in. Yes, I'm a witness to that. Well, I mean, he told me that I was a junior uh, well, rangerette. Well, I believe this was brought up in a past court piece. case. And I believe it's the also, court case whenever Mr. Clarkson admitted he ate his own penis. That is quite. Um, <laughs> but I will say that Mr. Clarkson does not have the power to deputize anybody. Mm, so it looks like this well, is all falling back on Clarkson. Bap I mean, doesn't I everything fall back on Clarkson? <laughs> if it would please the court... I would do a coyote howl, but that is up to you. Uh, let's hear it. Sorry, <laughs> what? Okay. I was expecting you, the, uh, the plaintiffs to eject relevance, but okay, I guess we'll just let it happen. All right. Uh, does the plaintiffs like to call anyone to the stand on this side? Are we the plaintiffs? Your Honor, I'd like to call, uh... <laughs> oh, Mr. Chang. Uh, opposite day, Mr. Chang, remember? Uh, what is right. a plaintiff? I think it's some kind of, like, a plantation? Your Honor, I'd like to call, uh, point? Officer Emily Reinhardt to the stand. Some kind of gwang. I think right. we No, I think you said plantains were like fried bananas. He, he, yeah, fried bananas. You should know you're Puerto Rican. I was there. I can help you if you need help. All right, Mr. Reinhardt, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole oh. truth, but the truth, the truth, the truth, I do. Was, I was there with you. All right, proceed. Yeah, you might be able to. I can question these people, right? I'm sorry, Your Honor. It's a little bit hard to uh to hear what's going on with all the peanut gallery talk going on. Ah, 
it's yeah. peanuts. Oh, where are the peanuts? Yeah, yeah. the point of peanuts. Are peanuts. It's a Imagine of trying to listen to opening statements with a peanut gallery. I understand, but continue. Understandable. Uh, Miss uh, Reinhardt. So. Uh, hmm. Objection, Your Honor. This guy is clearly under the influence. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to believe that. This man is a machelli in the courthouse. He does, he does have a machelli in the courthouse. I have pointed that out. <laughs> but I am going to overrule that. Apologize, Ryan. I'm just trying to think of a, a question I can ask Mr. Reinhardt here. Oh, you speculate your questions? Negative, negative. Just, but don't think about it. Just do it, forehead. Uh, is it appropriate to to sing like Jeopardy music at this point? I should say what? Yeah, I think that's probably appropriate. I know, man. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, if it pleases the court, if anybody uh, knows how to, um, clip kitty cat toenails, I'd like a small <laughs> 140 character response on Twitter when you have time. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, Zach. I, I apologize, Your Honor. I, I'm not prepared for questioning. I'm <laughs> not prepared. I'm a child. He is intoxicated. If it pleases the court, I can ask questions. You'll get your chance to if you wish. Oh, we're gonna question a big time, don't you worry. I said, sorry, I... Alright. Miss Reinhardt, one of these charges that you have presented to Miss Moose here today is arson. Would you like to explain to the courts how you came about this charge? Of course. After uh, dealing with another suspect, uh, I walked up the back of the mission room. What's the objection? That man is obviously reading and speculating and obviously lying, as it was objected before. Can you repeat the question, Mr. Keys? <laughs> I just look. You don't know Certainly. everything. I asked Miss Reinhardt that one of the charges presented to Miss Moose today was arson. And I was asking her how she came about that charge. That's uh, that's a pretty fair question, Mr. Yeah. Tang. I'm going to overrule that. Yep, that's what I was saying. Alrighty. We got uh, this, no problem. After I had arrested somebody else uh, who was down in Mission <laughs> Row, I walked out the back door and saw my cruiser caught on fire. From there, I waited for the fire to go out. I grabbed another cruiser and I went back on patrol. And I had Miss Edna Moose uh, stop. Or she was stopped in the middle of uh, a lane, in the turn lane, going up towards uh, Elgin Ave, northbound. Uh, she got out of her vehicle and uh, jumped onto a individual who was standing in Legion Square. I then had the vehicle positioned to do a traffic stop. Miss Edna Moose got into the vehicle and I told her to pull over. Uh, she then went through the light and all the way down to the uh, construction site on Alta Street. Uh, then I pulled her over. I had her pulled over. I got out my vehicle. Um, I asked her, you know, I gave her who I was, the reason for the stop today, and to give her my, uh, to get her ID and information. From there, uh, Miss Enemu then stepped out the vehicle. Uh, I told her to return back into her vehicle and hand me her ID. She then said no. She got out the vehicle and said, hey, I'm Edna Moose. Can't you see who I am? And I said, well, Miss Moose, I need identification. You know, you can say you're Miss Moose, but how do I actually know that? Uh, so then she finally got into the back of her ve er, in back, back into her vehicle. Um, she then handed me her ID. I went back to the cruiser to grab her ticket. Uh, I was explaining to her the ticket, and she said she was going to refuse to sign it. I said, well, you can see a judge right after, after you sign it. Uh, basically, uh, she wanted to dispute it. She could come up here. It uh, took off, and when a 1080 was uh, started, 
front of the courthouse. She got out the vehicle and said, thank you for escorting me here. I said, that's not the case. Uh, I need you to put your hands up and face away from me. You're now being arrested for evading and disobeying a lawful uh, peace officer. Lawful. Um, he then took off towards the courthouse again where Clarence Williams tased her. Uh, from there, what the, f what the fuck uh, was the was question? Custody, She's just saying the story again. What is, the, what is going on right now? <laughs> uh, during questioning, uh, we talked about the charges, etc. We did drop the ticket. Um, wobble beans. I'm getting there. What the fuck uh, was even I'm the gonna, question? Gonna, is this a story? I'm gonna, I'm gonna overrule <laughs> that, Look, and that's not the correct. It. That's not the correct objection, Mr. Chang. There is a correct objection also, you could was use, this, but that's not uh, it. Was this really sworn in, Your Honor? He was. All right, just so double checking. Go ahead and continue. I'm gonna overrule Alrighty. that. Alrighty. So, anyway, I brought her down to Mission Row. We put her in one of the questioning uh, cells um, to kind of get a questioning and understanding. Um, I talked to Miss Moose. I think it was dropped. Uh, we did drop two of the charges and just put disobeying a peace officer. Uh, during questioning, I had asked her about a cruiser. She was at Mission Row previously before I went back out on patrol. She had a gas can uh, and her vehicle was there. So I was just asking her a couple questions about a possible blown up cruiser. And she said, I did in fact blow up the cruiser uh, because God told me to. Uh, that is when during questioning, I said, I'm gonna step out and talk to the ADA and or DA, in which I did. Uh, during that time, Clarence Williams was watching over Miss Edna and I had spoken to the ADA and the DA and she was already Mirandized. So we are pushing for arson and- Shouldn't you be objecting to that? Oh, believe me, he should All be right. doing a lot more than that, but it's not What's my case, objection? it's Chang's case. Now, the disobeying a peace officer charge. Now, you've pulled over plenty of people Objection uh, weeding in your on. time as an LEO, correct? That is a leading question, Mr. Keys. Can you rewind that? I apologize. Ms. Reinhardt, have you pulled over a fair amount of people? In your time objection, as your honor. Waiting. What's the <laughs> objection? That's not leading, Mr. Chang. That's speculation. That's what I said. You just misheard me. Please reword that. Hmm. <laughs> I just keep objecting. We'll just break him. Just run her. When you tell someone to pull over the vehicle, do they usually pull over right away? Objection, or do they you want to Usually take off. That is speculation. I am going to sustain <laughs> that. <laughs> mm. No more questions at this time, Your Honor. Good job, Mr. Chung. Now she's uh -huh. your bitch. Yell, go ask her everything you want to ask her. All right. And ask her if she's single for me, huh? Miss Wangheart. You understand that you well, are under oath, right? The title 12 in court? You? Very interesting. Very interesting. Now, you stated that your vehicle was blown up outside of the police department. Is that true? Yes, it is. Right in the back. Objection. Asked and answered. Sustained. Did you or did you not witness Miss Edna blowing Mr. Chang, up your vehicle? We're gonna do vehicle? this. Did you or did you not think again? You damn right. It's all in the tactics. <laughs> Injection speculation. Right. Repeat the question, Mr. Chang. Did you or did you not witness Miss Edna blowing up that vehicle? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna reword that. All right, yeah. um, Mr. Chang, I want you to listen to me closely. Did you witness Miss Edna blow up that vehicle? Well, the did you or did you not is actually proper English. I'm an English major. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by the way you speak, Mr. Chang. Exactly. 
go and answer the question, ma'am? I did not. Huh. Huh. Did you know that Miss Edna is 80 years old? Objection relevance? Uh, well, I believe since the age was brought up earlier mm -hmm. in the uh, opening statements and the uh, and the statements given after, I think it'd be pretty relevant if uh, they want to talk about that. I'm going to uh, overrule that. Based off identification, um, the date on her ID, uh, I would say she's roughly older, but I did not see the actual. Uh... Very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. <laughs> now, you stated earlier that when you pulled over Miss Edna, you asked for her ID. Because you was not sure if it was actually Miss Edna. Yet during your whole story, you labeled her as Miss Edna. Were you aware that this was Miss Edna before you pulled her over and asked for her ID? Uh, I was. Hmm. Mr. Chang, did you just say very interesting? Very interesting. Mr. Chang, are you, are you, Mr. Chang, do you keep saying very interesting? It's <laughs> Are, are you, are you, are you doing stolen valor or mispraised tactics? <laughs> you don't Mr. know Mr. Chang, you have to jump, by the way. <laughs> <sighs> See how they treat me, Your Honor? Like an animal. These people treat me like an animal. Objection Mr. relevance. Changer. Mr. Chang, are you the one on trial? Huh. It seems lucky with them around here. <laughs> yes, sweetheart, right. would you like to ask them a question? I was... uh, oh, okay. Sure. And not... Come on. Go, go, go ask Bill. You have the spider. If it pleases. Oh, okay. Sometimes my hands get the best of me. <laughs> uh, Miss oh, it's whispering. Reinhardt, would you consider me, even after the results of this court case, a friend to the city of Los Santos? Um, I honestly don't know how to answer that, to be honest with you. I yes could, or I no, could... mom. Yes or no. If she doesn't know how to answer the question, then it, if she answered yes or no, when she doesn't truly know how to answer it, it would be perjury. So she does have the option to not be able to answer it. And her. So are you exercising her, your Fifth Amendment right? It's not her Fifth Amendment right. She's breaking the law then, huh? From her better mm, judgment. Interesting. She's not breaking the law. You didn't listen to anything <laughs> I just said. Next well, question. So she's obstructing justice? Next question. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> um, miss, is it Mr. or Mrs. Reinhardt? I am not married. Okay. Interesting. Can you handle the truth? <laughs> I have to say the truth all day, every day. I'm an officer. Would you? Is it would you or would you not? Would you or would you not? Yeah. The judge prefers it that way. Would you? Or would you <laughs> not? Consider going to the burger shop with me as friends. Uh, objection relevance <laughs> Disrespectful. Uh, I'm going to sustain that and I think this goes uh, far beyond the scope of relevance and uh, it speaks I don't to know how you guys have been pointing this out 
You want to information? We are dissecting her character psychologically to discover how cruel and rotten she is on the inside. Well. All right, continue. I actually don't think she's cruel and rotten. I think she's just a little jealous. Yeah, I'm jealous, but these, these guys, that's a different story. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, how many questions do I get? Please do not filibuster me, please. Um, Miss Reinhardt, what is a filibuster? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Mm. But we interested. Do I have nobody, permission to approach? Nobody, nobody has any clue, so let's just move on. Do I have permission to approach the bench? You do. Go ahead and approach. That's that's the wrong bench. That's the wrong bench. <laughs> Miss Reinhardt, <laughs> when we're this far away, can you tell that I'm old? Oh my god. Well, I don't like to speculate age. So, I mean, I could consider that, but again, I don't like to speculate. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Miss Reinhardt, where did you get your hair done? Objection relevance. No, we need to Miss Moose, you are cross examining right now. You have to keep everything in the scope of the questions and statement asked. It's about her character. This whole entire case is about everyone's character. What? That's cool. Miss Reinhardt, <laughs> you can skip that. Where did you get that gas can? Miss Moose, I'm glad you allowed her to skip it. Continue. <laughs> Gotta repeat on the question. Would you or would you not tell the courtroom where you got that gas can? Uh, well, before we can take a suspect down to Mission Row, before we take down Miss Edna to Mission Row, I have to... No, you answer her. the question. Uh, from you. Would because you or would you not tell the court where you got it from? Yes or no? Objection asked and answered. Yes. Sustained. Okay. Next question. Um... How, how come you left me locked up in a cell for so long? Well, we did questioning. I spoke with the ADA. Uh, and I was also writing up your charges. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> On previous occasions, would you say that I have helped oh sorry uh sorry your honor may i rephrase my question rephrase it would you or <laughs> would you not say that i have helped justice in this city in the past objection speculation silence that is bullshit sustain. i'm sorry right now. sustain what does sustaining mean? Well, why can't it means I, I agree everything? with the objection, and it's a correct objection, oh, and we have to go to the next question or reword it. That is ridiculous. Um, do, do, do you think I provide a service to the city? Uh, objection relevance? Like... The objection speculation is uh, sustained. Ridiculous. Would you or would you not adopt a cat? Mm-hmm. 
Objection relevance. Oh, what are you gonna object to everything she says? I don't respect you. Oh, that's... Uh, repeat the question. Would you, uh, would you not adopt a cat? I'm going to have to sustain that. Oh, this is just quack. Uh, if we get more sustains, are we winning or not? I don't understand. That's, that's quack. Um, that's The more sustains, the, the more we're winning. Don't worry. Keep going. Okay, I guess last question, um, at least for, for right now. I get to approach the bench later, correct? Uh, correct. Um, okay, this guy over there was asking if you know anything about how to clip a cat's toenails. Would you care to tell the courtroom how to do that? <laughs> well, I definitely want to hear that. Objection, relevance. Oh, come Sustain. on. No. You don't care about cats? No, no, no. This speaks Jesus to her character. Christ. Does she truly want to help the people of Los Santos or not? Sustained. Oh, come. You guys have no out. hearts. Your Honor. If it would please the court, I would I will approach up there next to you. And yeah, give that my would opening not please statement. the court. <laughs> that would not please the court at all. Okay. You've Mr. also Reinhardt, already record, given your opening you'll statement. You look great, today, honey. I don't know if you you changed in between or not, but you look great, honey. Love the glasses. Thank you. Great job. I got a lot of sustaining in there. Mm -hmm. I think we're yes, ahead no, right now. Yes, yes, you got my respect. You got my respect. That was a lot of sustains. <laughs> Mr. Ali, <laughs> okay. I want you to understand before you ask any questions, I'm going to hold you to a higher standard. Yes, Your Honor. Absolutely. Officer, please go ahead and uh, say your full name, your rank, and also your social... Uh, um, um, you know, like single married, um, available. Social status, marital Looking. status. Objection, relevance on the last part. Uh, I gonna sustain that. Like I said, Mr. Ali, I'm gonna hold you it's, to it's a high standard. Important. Yes, yes, it's very important. It's not important. It's very it's not important. important. No, it's not. Absolutely. It's not important. I can make her happy, Your Honor. I can make her very happy. <laughs> Mr. Ali, I just discussed I'm gonna hold you to a high standard. And you're trading yes, on losing Honor. our bar license right when you got it. Yes, Your Honor, I understand. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Mom, answer the question. No, uh, I sustained the objection. Right she can't answer the question. You have to ask you a different question. He said the last part, Your Honor. He, he said the last part, not... Uh, he he, he, re said, he objected to the last part. Re-ask <laughs> the whole question again, because the whole thing was oh, objected. Okay. Oh, okay. Mom, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, like in Facebook. That's not a question, Mr. Ali. I know, Your Honor. Mom, what is your name, rank, and which department? Debt Emily Reinhardt with the Los Angeles Police Department. Speak up, woman! Debt Emily Reinhardt with the Los Angeles Police Department. Very good. Now, Cadet, I want to ask you, why are you here today? Uh, for doing my job, and I don't know how to answer that completely, honestly. I did my job. I, uh, mm -hmm. somebody that was running for me brought them in custody and brought them down to Mission Row. That's it. That's all you know. I mean, it's how I do my job every day. You do a crime, I bring you down to Mission Row, and you do the time. No more questions, Your Honor. Interesting. Thank you, Mr. Ali. You brought so much uh, such uh, insight to this case. I appreciate that. <laughs> no problem, Your Honor. Uh, does the prosecution slash plaintiffs? Uh, you can step down. Just... Yeah, I don't need to do redirect, Your Honor. I figured you didn't. They didn't really ask anything at all. <laughs> Says who? Do you have any other witnesses you'd like time. to bring forward? Uh, Deputy Williams, but before that, Your Honor, I do have some photo evidence I wish to submit for the court. Here. Pornographic photos. Disgusting. 
In one second, I'll email those to you. Yo, what up, Kit? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Hello? Oh, okay, runner, as you can see, uh, you're on, uh, one, one second. You weren't provided the evidence, so it's inadmissible. Gotcha. You wanna? You we were not provided no, the you evidence. Anything. It's incommissible. I, <laughs> yes, absolutely, your honor. Uh, I am sure you don't miss anything at all, your honor, but I just want to clarify something. When um, uh -huh. Officer Reinhardt said, like, she arrested someone and stuff like that, she did not say who that someone was. She did not say it was my defendant. Uh, she did not clarify the reason was. Oh. Why didn't you object that then? Why would I object it? It's in my favor. Why are you coming up to me and pointing that out? Because I want to make sure that he did realize that, Your Honor. Although I know, I know, what, I know you, you don't Mr. Ali, anything, what Your court Honor. procedure gives you the allowance to come up to a judge and make sure he he sees things and want to point out? Ain't that <laughs> He's trying to lose his statement? license, dude. I am sorry, Your Honor. I've been with the very go back, judges before. Go back, go back to where you were standing. To you being, go back to where you're standing, so Mr. Ali. Go back. Yes, Your Honor. Absolutely, absolutely, Your Honor. Anyway. Your Honor, I yeah, went yeah. ahead and emailed you the photo evidence. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, I'm going wanna... to be getting it to the defendants. If you know of a yes, way, I can make that happen. It is too late for that evidence. It was not presented. It's, it's coercive. No, Mr. Chang, this is a bench trial. This isn't a set court date yeah. where it has a time limit exactly. on the evidence to come in. Exactly. But so, if you would like to see said, the evidence, I can email that to you. No, sir, I have something's wrong with my eyes, so it's not going to be able to walk. I'm sorry. I can't. Your Honor, can I can't you email walk. that My eyes to me? Are blind. <laughs> uh, I can, Mr. Ali. Uh, please uh, use the uh, Steam uh, Steam thing. Uh, I got. Thank you. you. You're, you're blind. If we don't look at the evidence, it can't be used. How many fingers are you holding? No clue. I have no clue. Huh. You're doing great, honey. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, continue on what you were saying there, Mr. Mr. Keys. Your Honor, as you can see by exhibits A and B, that is the blown up cruiser that Ms. Reinhardt was stating. Keys, I'm going to stop you there. Most of the time, if you want if you want to go over evidence, um, you would do that after mm -hmm. you finish with your witnesses, all of them, <laughs> and then you would go over your evidence. So let's, if you want to do that, ah. let's finish up with Mr. Mr. Clarence, and then what we can go over What is his first day in court? All right. Alright, that's so at this point I would like to call Deputy Williams to the stand. Jump Clarence. Spy that. Spy that. Boom. Alright. Mr. Williams. Will you go over the correct procedure? For pulling someone over? Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor nobody, wants, nobody wants to fall fucking sweeping court. Uh, I I want to hear this. I'm going to overrule that. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, first, uh, we position our vehicle behind them. We radio in the make model of the vehicle, how many occupants, and our location. They were sworn in at the, in the um, beginning. Once out of the vehicle, we approach the vehicle uh, at an angle. And uh, we identify ourselves as law enforcement officers, at which we ask for a proper identification of the driver. And then uh, we explain to them the reason for them being pulled over. Doesn't matter, chat. Thank you very much, Mr. Williams. And, We're not uh, even taking this serious. Second question <laughs> and last question. It's not sure have you me. been with... Have you been with uh, Officer Reinhardt yeah, wild for and yeah, the black. majority of your shift? Uh, yes. All right. No more questions, Your Honor. Wow, pathetic. Figure it. Figure out the reason for the stop. Mr. Williams. Do you 
Or do you not know that Miss Edna is 80 years old? Uh, I didn't know the relevance. exact age. What? That hits him back there? Um, yeah, he, said he, does, he said he doesn't understand right. English. Uh, Mr. Keys, what you're looking for, because see, he's he's redirecting the questions you ask. It's objection, scope of the questions. He has to ask questions that were in scope of what you asked. Right. There's a problem, that Your Honor. While he was speaking, scope. I fell asleep as his knowledge and stupidity was boring well, me to death. Unfortunately <laughs> for you, Mr. Chang, I didn't fall asleep, so I can but, judge whether that was in the scope or not. All right, perfect. Let's go, then. All right? So are you aware, or did you know, that Miss Edna is 80 years old? Objection, scope of questioning. Sustained. Alright, go ahead and answer. That's not an answer. Uh, I did Yeah. Oh, you what? didn't? You uh, didn't? Didn't you get to are answer you blind, the other <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You don't, you you don't answer that, Mr. Clarence? I sustained okay, thank the objection. So what was the reason for the stop? She, uh, she parked her vehicle in uh, the middle of the road, ran out, and uh, jumped at a, uh, a citizen. Hmm. Now, did you or did you not tase Miss Edna? Jackson, scope of questioning. Sustained. Are you or are you not a bitch that cannot handle an 80 year old woman, so you have to pull out a taser and tase that woman? Objection, scope of questioning. Sustained. Are you so much of a coward that you would tase an old woman instead of gently? Objection, scope of questioning. In your frail with her arms, Sustained. she had no breakfast. Were you aware that she had breakfast? Objection, scope of Did questioning. Did you eat breakfast today, sir? Sustained. Uh, Are you sorry, aware that, that if you have low caloric diets, you become extremely weak? Not only was she uh, Objection, old, scope of questioning. Extremely weak. Did, were you aware? Sustained. That you could not handle an 80 old woman on your own? <laughs> Objection, scope of questioning, yet again. Sustained. Mr. Chang, you're going to have to keep this exactly. in a lot of scope, so I'm going to hold you in contempt. I know, you understand I know. I'm me? telling them apart right now. I know. But it had to be done, Judge. These questions All are right. necessary, and I'm glad that I got to say them. I think the court proved that they wasn't necessary because they were thrown out. Mm hmm. Now that it's seen that this officer stuff has no care for in? human life. <laughs> Did you have probable cause to stop Miss Edna? Yes. Very interesting. Very interesting. Are you or are you not a Satan worshiper? Jealous of the Objection, connection badgering that Miss Edna has with gods. <laughs> What's the objection? Lord, badgering Lord. the witness. Objection, Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. He is not a man of God. Objection. How's that relevant, Mr. Chang? Exactly. None of his objections right, are well with it. I'm gonna go ahead and end this line of question. You can go back to your stand, Mr. Chang. Right, thank you very much. That was if great. it would, if it would please the court, I would like to tag in um, Mr. Gomer mm -hmm. into Tagged the you. ring. Negative. All right, go on in. You say. I'll give oh, him my power of attorney too. You're not using your power of attorney. <laughs> All right. Well, I could give it to him. Hey, that was pretty good, huh? I tore him apart. Oh, you know what I don't understand? You asked those questions before, and the other lady had to answer it, so why doesn't he have to answer it? Exactly. I don't know what the fuck is going on. That's man. why we just exposed I could them. answer that for you, Miss Edna. It's because they didn't object to the scope of the questioning before. Yeah, but you wanted that to all our officer was yeah. not speaking English up on the stand, so we could not comprehend any of his questions. Mr. Ollie, you have any questions? I do, Your Honor. May I proceed, Your Honor? Uh, yeah, he can proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. You are the greatest judge I have ever worked with before. Thank you. <laughs> Deputy, go ahead, uh, state your full name and rank, please, and which department? 
Deputy Clarence Williams of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Oh, interesting. <laughs> ah, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Ah, okay. Um. Uh, did you um, perhaps uh, arrest my client? The woman standing Objection, right there. Objection. Scope of questioning. I have no. I was honestly not even listening to his that, questions, dude. <laughs> I, I did. don't even know what the fuck he asked. Okay, great, great. Uh, Your Honor, I am sorry, but uh, the evidence you sent me. I don't think anybody was uh, listening. Was uh, given by uh, which <laughs> officer? Uh, I'm gonna pause the court for a second. Um, yes, go ahead, Your Honor. I'm going to hold the gentleman in the back with no shirt in contempt of this court. I'm going to sentence him to 10 months in prison if an officer can go process him immediately. Brian, do you, you mind doing this? Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. What? Zach, get out of here. He's running. running. Yellow get woman! Him. After him! Look at these hooligans weaving okay, their own court case very with good. no care. Disgusting. Which one? Woman? Hey, Which one As it's seen in, in the recess courts. right now, Mr. Chang. These officers could not woman. always handle a weak foil quacket. But they require excessive force to Mr. take the Mr. Chang, the court's in recess. The court's That is correct. It's almost as if they want to the kids in the playground playing games. Edna? Hey, lower guy. Lower guy, come I want to go get him. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll sidebar, right? All right. Edna, get back you in there. You guys need a drill. Hey, the problem is, I completely if, fell asleep if, during this question. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. They were talking about how they stopped somebody. So what you got to do is you got to drill how they stopped her. That car was fucking, she was out in the damn car and they were pulling up. It's a fucking parking violation. Did they call a tow truck? I mean, did they offer to let her move it? All that kind of shit. I mean, did they, you know what I'm saying? Did I mean, you if they, if, offer if it to wasn't tow really the traffic Well, yeah, I mean, shit. Was if it a traffic uh, stop? Well, yeah, well, I mean, you said they set up as if it were a traffic stop, but I mean, it was a legally parked vehicle is what the whole thing was. Okay, are those good So, questions? I mean, that's kind of, I mean, it is a, yeah, it's a damn, it's a damn traffic stop in a way, but I mean, at the same time, they could, you know, they they weren't pulling her over for nothing. It's more of like a parking violation than a tow. Okay. Yeah, you got something to say, Mr. Chang? We just having a staring contest. <laughs> did you or did you not? I will, t I, <laughs> I will put you in prison for life, Mr. Chang. Your Honor, um, he's in custody. <laughs> he's requesting a bench trial. However, that's not what I'm here for. Um, you said ten months for you can't do a bench a trial, trial. first of its do, kind. You can't do a bench <laughs> trial for a contempt charge because it's no, I know, by I know. A judge. Yeah, that's not why I'm here. Uh, I'm just wanted to clarify. You said ten months. Do you have a fine? No fine. No fine? All right, got it. Thank you. We'll be right back. Excuse me, father. I believe she's talking to you, Mr. Chang. No, I'm talking to the majesty father of the court. I went to uh, I don't know who. Who are you talking about, Miss Boosh? You need me to find somebody? Uh, you. Oh, uh, what can I help you with? I believe that I would like to invite invite invoke my role to a speedy trial these cops are just trying to delay their charges mm -hmm. the inevitable are we having your trial right now the chief of police and they'll get fired That's are quite. we having your so, trial uh, right now that is quite yeah it's just not as very Lord. speedy you know yeah, that's not what that really means. We're What's having your trial right now. You're a you're the chief of the police ASAP. John, John. I'm, I'm ready I to be to sworn in right now if me. you have a Bible. Come with me. Come with me. You've already been your sworn Honor, in. Can we use your office uh, for me and Mr. Chunk to use your office? Just one minute. You can. You can. Thank you, Your Honor. Do I come too? Come with me, you too. Yes, yes, woman. Come with huh? me. Come with me. My name's Edna. If that keeps you guys from talking to me, then uh, yes, go right ahead. Okay, now all of you, listen, listen, you can actually win this, okay? I am going to help you right now, but once we go back to the big room, I'm not, I'm gonna stop helping you. Now, 
I forgot her name. Oh, like woman, woman. Uh, did, when they arrested you, <laughs> did they see you next to the car? The blown up car? No, I was arrested for some. For what? Uh, well, they were pulling me over. Oh, yeah, I knocked over a prostitute because she was trying to sell herself and I told her to put some clothes on. Okay. And then they pulled me over. Did you use and any then when they said that you, I said that I wasn't going to take wait, wait, the wait, wait. ticket. Wait, wait, wait. Did, oh. you, did you use any weapon? Did you use any weapon on the prostitute? No. Well, okay. I mean... What? These guns. Oh, That's what the kids yes, do, yes. right? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. John, I've seen the evidence they presented. It says... A firearm went up by a male suspect. Obviously, female. Female. So okay. we're going to go after the fact second thing. that these guys are indeed yes, sick bastards, thing. is what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Second thing. Uh, huh? second just thing. to be clear, I did uh, tell them that I blew up the cop car. Good, good. That proves that you were doing good after work. After they read your rights? After they read your rights? Oh, yeah. God told me to do it. Did you ask I'm for not a lawyer? Probably. They didn't give me anything. Exactly. Okay, okay. You hear that? John, 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 come here, uh, come here. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. We gotta hurry up. We only have 15 minutes to win they this case. They didn't JSW check her, remember. They did not JSR test her, okay? No uh -huh. JSR test on her. Fabulous. So if they try to assume anything, uh uh. Wait, but she admitted it okay. on the wolf already. Yeah, yeah, just to be clear, no, I'm, no, not she gonna was tell, not uh, I'm gonna tell them I blew it up. Yeah, surely did. No, she, you already went to the stand. They missed the chance. You already this went to the stand case. and they missed their chance. There's a bunch of crooked cops there who set me up. I don't give a fuck if you want to go to jail. I'm not gonna allow it. Thank you, Your Honor. Very nice office. I'm just in time. Spider woman. Spider. All right, you want All right, I wanna, I wanna make this perfectly clear. I don't know if anyone's looked at the time, but we're on a very, very big time restraint. Let's here. kick this up a notch. Oh, let's get this party started. I like it. Unless everyone feels that they're gonna be able to make it back after the tsunami. I believe my partner and myself wouldn't have an issue. Uh, I'm not gonna Dolly? be able to make it back, Your Honor. Alright, then we'll bang this out. Maybe push the Yeah, I invite, I invoke my road to a speedy trial. We got 12 minutes, so, um, I mean, it's gonna take me like five or six minutes to deliberate. I can deliberate now if you want, but that's up to you guys if you want to invoke your speedy right to a trial. Well, what do you think? You think we're ready to give our fucking, what is it called? And, and I statement? Think, I think if you deliver a powerful closing statement, yeah. like I know you will. All right, let's do closing statements. Mr. Keys, give okay. me a closing statement. Make it really quick. All right. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the gallery, today we have proved without a shadow of a doubt that Miss Moose here did commit the crimes presented to her today, provided with the evidence of witness testimony. And I have no doubt that Your Honor will rule fairly. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, fucking weak. <laughs> you wanna? Do you know what the sound of that is? That is the sound of an empty, chewy granola bar whopper. And that represents Miss Edna. These cops, what they did to her, have left her empty, broken, crumbled. Out of pure jealousy and disgustingly savage tactics. Not only did they taste a frail woman, but they had no reason to use such force on such an innocent, beautiful creature following the path of gods. And not only that, as they forcefully jammed Jarrow down her throat, 
or sexually harassing her, calling her stupid old bitch. These people have no hearts, no desire to bring justice, only hatred. And that is why she shall become the true chief of police. Not only did she apprehend a criminal, but she survived such a vicious attack by this police force. So they must be disbanded, and she will be born, we buff the police department. That is all. Aye. Very elegant closing statement there, Mr. Chang. Gotta go for deliberation about the court in the recess. Any outburst should be held to That was incredible. I think we just completely destroyed him. <laughs> Absolutely. You two. Listen, ma woman. Uh, when you become uh -huh. chief of police, please remember me, huh? Huh? Don't, 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 don't okay. forget <laughs> Ali Habibi. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my first order of business is chief of police. Hmm. Uh, make, I think make, my first make. order of business is... What, when do I make my statements? Uh... No, uh... When you, when you become you chief of police. You might need those. Yes, yes. Pick, pick this. They may need to be a wasty. Oh, honey. I will guard these with my life. <laughs> this is incredible. This is gonna be the best day of your life. Chief of police. <laughs> yalla, yalla, yalla. If you want to show yalla, him yalla, some yalla, live. Yalla, yalla. Okay, he's moving. Okay, okay, okay. Statements and all the all the things given. Um, it's Moose admitted to burning the car. All the all the all the, all the things that that happened, she admitted to. She openly admitted to. Now I understand. That there was uh, alleged excessive force that was presented by the defense, but that does not absolve Miss Moose of her crime. If there wanted to be a civil case later where Miss Moose wanted to sue for that, then so be it. I'm not going to judge whether that was excessive or not. That'd be up to the civil judge. Uh, I'm here to judge whether someone's guilty or innocent of a crime. And, and any excessive force, even if it happened, would not absolve you of that crime. Uh, so, that being said, I am going to find, uh, Miss Moose guilty of Ooh. disobeying a peace officer, arson, vandalism the government property, and I yeah. am going to sentence you to 37 months in prison Wait, with whoa, a $2,750 fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Uh, I think oh, you got the, I think you. you got the mixed up. <laughs> thank you, officer. Or, You're majesty. Welcome. There you go, 37 yes, months to the chief of police, there you go. We will. It's I told you. you guys we're Deputy not Williams, bad you want to go ahead and uh, process her? Get out uh, of here. May I approach the bench? To, uh... up. Judge, I just want to thank you for ruling in my favor. Well, it is office today, so you're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Either, uh, Ryan Hart Williams, one of you two is going to process her, whoever has the charges ready at hand. We'll uh, take her next door and take care of everything. You got five minutes. Wait, you might as well make it quick. All right. What? And, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hands favorite, off. Turn around, face away from me. I've got to put some cuffs on you, okay? Cut on up. Why would you do that? Being, privacy, please. being placed under arrest. Uh, no, yes, we can. Just Detain told... this man. It's opposite day. Favorite place to Judge. Behind your back. <laughs> Watch out the handcuffs. Please. Come on, Miss Moose. Let's back. not make it harder you than You heard it's him seen. say it was opposite day multiple times. Get off day, her. Police brutality. Help, right. right. uh... Judge. <laughs> I saw that he nice punched He said it was Mr. opposite Jake. day. Let's just do it out here. Yeah, uh, do you want to do the billing and the sending? I'll write the report. Uh, 2,750. That was pretty fun, though.
nice park. It's Oh shit, Primo 